Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today I want to talk about the feature that sold me on Playwright years ago, when it was only in beta. I am talking about the request handling feature. We can intercept web browser requests and analyze, modify or cancel them without any external proxy tools. Let's review the application under the test to find what we can intercept. In the network tab, I see the list request with all coffee types displayed in the user interface in JSON format. But imagine, for testing purposes only that I need here one more recipe, an Irish coffee. Let's start fixing this tiny mistake from the menu page object. I am adding the intercept method which utilizes the playwright page's route. Here I need to set the URL to be routed and the handler method. People can use Lambda here but I want you to see all the details. Let's create a static handler with arguments root and request. The first one is responsible for a decision. Abort, fulfill, means replace, continue, and even fetch. Let the request pass to the backend, and let us play with the real response. The second one represents an HTTP request the browser makes if you need to get some details. This time, we need only the root setting the response status code and the body. I will copy one of the coffee recipes and modify it. The name, the price is, pricey, espresso, whiskey, cream, looks fine now. Once routing is enabled for the page, it will work for all requests while the page is open. To stop it when it is not needed, use the unroot method. For the best control, I'd prefer to use routing in a context manager. Just add the decorator, yield the control, and stop when the job is done. So simple. Let's use the new code in the test. I use a previously written test to add the coffee to the cart as a baseline. I am adding pauses to see the result and reload to see that routing is not working without the context manager. When can we use this feature? I encountered the following scenarios. There is a long and complex test precondition that cannot be optimized via API or database, but we can mock a backend response that returns all data already prepared. The user interface is requesting a third-party API that is not available in the dev environment. There are test cases to check specific software behavior for receiving errors from the backend and you can mock any error code you need. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button so as not to miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcome and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.